let's learn one important concepts related to the context uh, in many of the business objects interview questions this questions being asked uh, what is context and most of the time uh, it is being uh, judging the uh, skills of the resource uh, based on the uh, work experience so whether it is really having good experience if it is good experience then uh, they must be aware about the context and uh, why we need this context uh, in the business object so let's see miss uh, practically and some theory concepts as well uh, so basically what is join uh, means context is it's a join path between different tables so as you know means in universe there are many tables uh, which are dimension tables and fact tables and they are joined with uh, each other and um, for that we need uh, there is a path between um, uh, these tables which uh, which is called as context and but why we need this context is just to, to resolve primary uh, many to many relationship between tables which may cause calculation errors if all in one context so uh, which uh, and also uh, to resolve the loops problem so let's see one example on this uh, so so this is one universe which is there so you will see there are different uh, tables which are already available in this universe and uh, first uh, we need to understand um, major uh, tables and uh, dimension tables like what are the fact tables and what are the dimension tables? So that is one important concept. So you will uh, see means whatever the dimension tables, it is having one to many relationship or many to one relationship. So you will see uh, this is a, a show of facts is a fact table, which is having many to one relationship. So one to many with the dimension tables. However, with the with the two tables which are there we can uh, say uh, fact tables so this generally will have many to many relationship if you wanted to uh, see so so to understand context first let's understand what is dimension tables and what is fact tables so dimension tables are the tables which are having uh, um, data which is helpful for analyzing the um, data uh, in terms of fact uh, uh, or uh, fact values so let's see uh, what is the values or how it looks uh, in the dimension so in the dimension table generally uh, what are the alphanumeric values uh, which doesn't hold any uh, numeric or aggregated values uh, those tables are dimension tables so you will see uh, various articles related to um, the this is something which is uh, shops related information where these are the article items which which are being sold and it does have does hold some information which which is helpful so maybe bags jewelry uh, t-shirts kind of things so depending upon the uh, category so these are the having these values now the fact tables fact tables will hold the transactional data I mean suppose um, uh, this is an article let's say I mean, this is uh, So this is article ID, which is having this value as a sale price, which is 90. So this, this, is, this is the article ID. So this article is being joined with the fact table and whatever the, suppose this article ha has been sold for uh, ten, uh, 10 items has been sold uh, in a day. And uh, so how many, uh, uh, how much price has it has been or whatever the transactions happen on that particular item, uh, that that will be stored uh, in this fact tables so uh, we will see uh, suppose this is this is the item which is the first item which is being sold so now we will see uh, how many quantities has been sold and what is so you will see this first three items which is on category and which is having amount sold which is being written as and quantity how many quantity two quantities on july uh, july 14 10 quantities again and then one so these are the uh, like 13 quantities have been sold and whatever the amount which has been there. So this is the transactional amount. So that is why this is this table is being called as a fact tables and uh, for all these con um, uh, dimension objects. It is a, this is one another item which is being sold one one times um, on the same day for uh, 135 sales price like this. So so this is nothing but a transactional um, item uh, transactional history or transactional records for for that particular items so this is one fact table and this is another fact table so generally when we do this fact table um, uh, when we design this universe we need to first identify the fact tables uh, then dimension tables 
what are the fact tables and what are the dimension tables so and their relationship so generally each fact table will be joined to all of the dimension tables which are associated with that so article uh, this is this uh, this uh, these are all dimension tables which are on the right side of this and th these are the two only fact tables so show fact is joined to all these tables most of them and uh, product promotion is also joined to this article lookup so you will see um, this two so why the, so now when we have uh, one or more uh, fact tables in the same uh, universe and if we join this it may be possible that whatever the uh, records which are available for particular article ID here in the shop fact tables and in promotion fact tables as well. So because both of this table will hold some of the values. So let's see means. So for that particular item, so this maybe it is possible or it, it is possible here or it may not be possible, but the article ID also here uh, possible, uh, possibly here as well in shop facts as well. So in that case, it may give wrong data when we join both the, both these tables. So we need to um, separate out this. So uh, and there is one more thing which is uh, loops. Loops also can be possible uh, uh, to happen when we have multiple uh, many tables in the report. So to identify the loops means we need we can uh, use these options to visualize loops. And then if you click on this, you will see shop facts. Uh, this is one kind of means one join is again uh, one this table is joined to this article lookup then this uh, it is joined to this product promotion fact and this kind of uh, loops is happening uh, like this so this when we have this loops the data will not come correctly so to avoid this we we need to uh, create a context so so to resolve this loop as well means there are uh, multiple options one is to create shortcut join. So now you will see this, this is a join which is there, which is called shortcut join. So how we can uh, declare the shortcut join also that is also possible here means if when we have this shortcut uh, click uh, this shortcut join, then um, it is a shortcut join. And the other way is to create an LAS table uh, of the dimension table. So we can create an LAS table of this and uh, of this calendar year, we can make another join here, uh, another table here, and then it can be separated out. But the best best way to resolve the loops uh, is context, and we, which is what we uh, can create. And for this, uh, this is the context which is created. So one is for promotions table, which is one fact table. So it will include all the joins which are related to a table only. So this plus, 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 so this is included, included. Uh, for shop facts is again what are the joints which are uh, relevant to the shop facts that only included rest of them will be excluded now if you say uh, there are three states for these um, joints one is include exclude and the third one is ignored joints or neutral joints so if, suppose uh, if you if you do any of the join as a neutral it may be possible that means it will not give incorrect data uh, so better uh, every time is whenever we create any uh, context um, we should properly include and exclude the joins uh, between each fact uh, each context so that it will it will not have any problem while we uh, develop the uh, reports so this is how and in in a universe we can have many fact tables whatever possible and based on that fact tables we can join that fact table so common dimension tables mm -hmm. and we can create as many as context based on the uh, based on the fact tables so suppose there are 10 fact tables we suggest or it, it is uh, advisable that we should create 10 context for uh, 10 fact tables if you are just three uh, three fact tables create three fact tables uh, and include their joins um, for that particular uh, context only so this is what we should be able to explain means what is context and why we need it uh, if you have any ready example while uh, giving the answers it is helpful uh, about the context as well and uh, yeah uh, that's it uh, from this uh, video i hope uh, you have understood these concepts about context and if you have any questions then please put it in the comment section and if you like my video, then please like it and subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you for watching.